A soldier comes home after a three-month absence and is shocked to find a newborn baby in his house, especially since his wife wasn't pregnant when he left when Adam Harris came home from the Middle East after a two-month stretch. The last thing he expected to find on his bed was a baby. He stood in the doorway just staring. The baby was lying between two large pillows and it was waving. Tiny fists in the air Adam walked closer and stared down at the child. It yawned on him showing pig cubs, and then it started to cry loudly Adam didn't know what to do. He sat down on the bed picked up the child and jiggled it awkwardly the baby had cubed and started sucking on a fist there. There Adam said, who is this kid? Where did it come from? He knew it wasn't his and Kathy's Kathy hadn't been pregnant seven months ago. He knew that, in fact, Kathy and Adam had been desperately trying to get pregnant. For six years now, they'd gone through several rounds of IVF to no avail. Adam hummed to the kid who just kept staring at him with a squinty, unfocused newborn eyes. Who are you? He asked. Then a quiet voice behind him said, she's ours. If you agree, Adam turned with the baby in his hands to find his wife standing there, Kathy a crime. What's going on? Kathy sat down next to Adam and kissed system. Tenderly, it's a long story. She signed. We've got all the time in the world. Adam said, well, remember how upset I was after the last IVF treatment failed? Adam nodded. It had hit Kathy hard and the result had been depression and therapy. I started going to this baby shop after therapy. I don't know why it just gave me hope. You know it even smelled like babies, so I met this girl there. A girl asked Adam, I presume she was pregnant. Yes, she was about six months along, Kathy said, and so young she's 15. But I only found out later she was trying to come to terms with the idea she was gone nah, be a mom. She kept saying she wasn't ready, that it was the wrong time wrong guy, that she wanted to go to prom, but she also couldn't bring herself to not have the child or give it away to strangers. Anyway, we became friends, we had opposite problems. I wanted a baby so badly and she was afraid to have one. What's your name? Adam asked Wendy Harris, so we started meeting up for tea every week and it was good being able to be open and honest with someone. Then one day about a month ago, when they asked me if I wanted to adopt her baby, I was stunned, but she said she wanted her child to have a good mom. She thought I'd be the best mom. She could imagine. She begged me to think about it. Why didn't you say anything to me? Adam asked, we were zooming every other day you could have shared Kathy shrugged. I don't know, I was afraid he'd be shocked saying no. I didn't know if I was prepared to adopt. I wanted to know what I wanted before I spoke to you, and then asked Adam before the baby was born. Kathy said when he went to a lawyer and organized everything for private adoption, the baby's father was eager to dump the responsibility and he signed when the baby was born. Wendy signed temporary custody to me today's the 10th day from today. This little girl can be ours. Our own baby, our daughter, if you want her Adam, we can finally have a family. Adam looked down at the tiny mite looking up at him. He touched one of the tiny fists with his fingers and the baby grasped Adam's finger with incredible strength. Adam looked up at Kathy and Grant, I think she's decided for me. He whispered she's picked me, I'm her daddy. Kathy's eyes filled with tears, I'll call Wendy's lawyer in ours. She said tomorrow by this time, she'll be our baby girl. What are we gone not call? Her Adam asked. I was thinking Mia Kathy, said mine in Spanish. Mia Adam said, jiggling the baby gently. I like it. Hey, little Mia, guess what? You're ours. And she was the next day. Kathy and Adam signed the adoption papers and little Mia was theirs forever. They finally had the family they dreamed of three years later. Kathy was astounded to discover that she was pregnant and that Mia would soon have a little sister.